welcome guys this is Igor in Russia it's been a long day and uh, it's a uh, it's long hard day and uh, it's been harder because I'm not able to walk I'm able to walk like 30% of my maximum capacity with pain but still I'm here I managed to film some videos today one live stream uh, very interesting uh, we had a live stream with a Greek YouTuber from Moscow, in Moscow, and he has another foreigner in St. Petersburg. So we had the St. Petersburg, Moscow thing. And right now I'm in Petrogradska inside. I traveled from all the way. I'm gonna show you beautiful, amazing view, guys, amazing. And uh, I just filmed, all right, I can, if you keep quiet, I will tell you what I just filmed for advance, not live stream. In front of me, check it out, in front of me, that's inside that building, is the very first building of St. Petersburg. The very first throne cabin of uh, Peter the Great. And it's now closing time, so nobody gets in, but I got in and I filmed it. And, uh, I'm gonna walk from this video. We're gonna walk on Petrogradsky side because I want to get to the metro station. So we have a good, decent stream here, but I don't know how long will it take because it's hard for me to walk. All right, right behind those trees is uh, Peter and Paul Fortress. We have filmed it in the spring. And now we actually, first we have to see the amazing Never River guys. This is Igor in Russia. I'm the, uh, probably the best YouTuber from Russia, about Russia. At least St. Petersburg. This is amazing work behind me. Check it out. That's uh, some artwork here in some normal residential building. And there's actually more, more of these works in those areas. I guess that's back in the 70s. Uh, I don't know, 70s, back in the Soviets. That was some kind of an entrance, I don't know. Yeah, there was side entrances to both places. Welcome to uh, Russia, St. Petersburg. We're gonna have a check. We're gonna check out how it's life in Russia right now. Please comment, tell me what you think. And uh, we will continue. Now we're gonna check out the Never River. Right now it's, it's, the weather is so fine that you must see this. You must. It would be a sin not to film it. And uh, keep uh, the comments coming. Comment, like, all that good stuff, right? Here's that building, by the way. But even cooler Soviet building is this one here. It's really like grandiose. I think they're like probably some Soviet lawmakers were, uh, I don't know, filming it. And I always wanted, by the way, to check, check out the statue. I can't remember who was he. Ah, yes, yes, I remember from 2016, maybe. This is the artist, художник, uh, painter, Andrei Andreevich uh, Milnikov. Holding his uh, painter's stick. All right, guys, you have to see this, let's go. Doesn't change is my 
pain. <laughs> and I don't have any pain medicine. Check it out. This is Alexander the First sign. What? Those who don't know, I think this is an emblem of uh, Alexander. And that's the Romanov insignia. Can you see this? Can you see this? Wow. I just spent some time thinking about life. Chinese guard uh, lions, Shadow Rimmel Shin Tzu, something like that. Look at this. Look at this. timing guys keep joining keep joining I'm gonna show you more and more we're gonna see uh, Aurora maybe let's see or maybe other time actually northwards towards the uh, uh, the metro now we're going east but I guess you shouldn't mind you should not mind even though the camera doesn't give you the full picture of this amazingness man I want this to my home Uh, to capture this on both on, at the same time the uh, insignia and me I'm unable to walk any faster can you imagine so hello last one hello Ree hello Emilia welcome to St. Petersburg Check out 
this yacht. Well, not yacht, I don't know. Anyways, it cost like a million. Probably. How much does this cost, do you think? That's the area, that's the historical center over there behind that, this first bridge. We're walking away from it because, as you know, I'm trying to film all of Russia. Many places I've filmed already. I can see quickly, for example, uh, Finnish, uh, Swedish, serving uh, Russian em emperor. Mannerheim lived in this building here. I filmed it for my Finnish Russian Russian uh, Finnish Russian channel over there in the embankment. Still haven't filmed the garden, but anyway, for Peter uh, that's the Peter Paul Fortress right behind that. You can see Isaac's Cathedral, Church of Spill Blood. What else? There we can see. There we can see those towers, the white building over there in the back. That is a uh, small cathedral. That's what we've been filming in, in the Christmas Eve, Russian Christmas Eve. Then we filmed, I went there like a month ago with you guys. We went all the way up and filmed the whole St. Petersburg from above. Did you watch it? I have so many great videos and uh, we need more views, guys. Alan. I'll make a zoom a little bit. This is actually a restaurant. Ginza is a chain of actually great restaurants. Many of them are really nice. And uh, even though it's a chain, it differs. You know, every restaurant is different. And that's a nice idea. Guys, do you want to see something cool which we still haven't gone on to? hat with him. That is a uh, Litani bridge over there. That leads from that side to uh, to Ploshet Lenina. And there's a uh, square of Lenin the same place where the Finnish Finlandsky railway station is located. Guys, please comment and uh, please uh, leave a like already. We're gonna see some awesome stuff from embankment into a Petrogradsky beautiful, beautiful uh, 
city part. Many regard Petrogradsky as the most beautiful one. Guys, just after the corner, you'll see something really cool. Everything is cool in Russia, but uh, something you want to see, might want to see. That's the uh, we have a cruiser, a legendary cruiser on the left. The cruiser who's uh, thought that's a, that's a signal for a revolution was fired from. That's what they say. Hello everybody. Wildcats should be watching my videos. This is too great to be missed. That's the statue for a uh, fallen Navy man. Beautiful statue. The light is uh, coming from the wrong side, but check this. Check this out. This is Cruiser Aurora. It's a museum. Alright guys, we're gonna continue on Petrogradsky side. Please join in, keep uh, leave a like, leave a comment, send some hearts or whatever, some some good vibes. Yes, it's before World War One. Yes, you can check out Cruiser Aurora. Yeah, World War One and before that, and revolutionary. But I guess it it had some battles. Yes, I think so too. I can't remember fully. Amazing guys, amazing. Actually, this is really a good spot for us to walk. Even though, like I said, walking is not my favorite thing right now. It's been held, by the way, by these massive metallic things yeah this is the check it out this 
life-saving boats, by the way. Life, uh, what well, life boats, I mean. It looks really nice, really cool. Very interesting. Yes, that that battle. That's basically that's why they speak about surviving because Japanese actually destroyed the vast majority the the power of the Russian Navy. Then in 1905, I know the year. history. Here's the back end. There it says Aurora. soon from embankment if there's Finnish people Finnish people watching this is uh, I think it's Filianski Prospect or Finski Prospect that street over there that starts from right after the bridge carrying the Finnish name which then was of course just a not just a it was a Grand Duchy of uh, Grand Duchy Grand Duchy of uh, Russian Empire right in front of this uh, glass building and I filmed it for my channel because I filmed every Finnish, uh, Finnish street of St. Petersburg so-called Finnish street the guy said funny that uh, all right let's take a photo and let's go <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a hefty price. It's seven. It was seven hundred rubles, so it's like ten bucks. And people told me that uh, it's not that huge as a museum, but it's uh, so legendary that people come flock. People flock here. Bank of Saint Petersburg across the river. and have a discussion. Beautiful red brick buildings remind me of it might be some kind of a barrack building. 
from uh, late 1800s. So we are now walking on the Petrogradsky side, which is uh, on, uh, it's also an island, but it's called Petrogradsky side. It's, uh, it has a different style than the rest of the city and actually a different feel to it as well. You can see it by these houses as well. Really nice place. That is called, I think, is it like Vyborsky region? I think that's already a Vyborsky region. Vyborg region of St. Petersburg or district. Check out this amazing, uh, amazing architecture, guys. Project Wine and Dine. So there's a Stalova Aurora. That's an interesting I should eat actually. But I want to keep moving. It's such a beautiful weather. А это что такое? Это за нас кебалка за курицей кисло-сосным соусом и завернутый лаваш. А сколько стоит? Филе, а сколько он стоит? Лаваш. Донор кебал? А нет, сколько стоит? 170 рублей. Ну давай, давайте. Alright, we eat it. Так, что еще для вас? 
А, все.
Shaurma, kind of. That's what they said. They just named it uh, Döner Kebab. It wasn't Döner and it wasn't Kebab. It was just chicken stuff. But uh, yes, I have I have tried it in Germany and man, it's good. As you like, as you know me. I believe they're probably somewhere here. I'm pretty okay, decent bakeries, pastries, restaurants, cafe, Vostok. Stop is Uzbek food. This would have been probably better than the last one, but I cannot go all the Stalovas through, you know. Wow, what a place! We go here. You're actually correct, 
but you know what? I don't really like typical shawarma, shawarma. I don't like that uh, mayonnaise type of yogurty, but somehow really heavy mayo. I actually like that uh, uh, the tomato-based. Uh, I like first of all the the beef or lamb version. Well, usually it's just beef. And uh, in, in kebab, in doner kebab. So I like the the meat version both, and like uh, and tomato sauce, not mayonnaise based. So don't hate me for it. It doesn't make me less say Petersburgian. I hope. Quart beer, by the way, not craft. Coffee bon. Man, I would love to have some coffee. Dude. <sighs> Beautiful weather, guys. Company Concern Electro Report. By the way, we won't be going all the way to Petrogradsk, we'll go a little bit closer. Right, so we have some coffee and we have some also zephyr. It's a sugary thing, making me more fat. I have to stop it. Coffee costs around one and a half, two, two and a half euros. That's a lot, but it's uh, 
9 out of 10. It's a uh, barista coffee that we in Petersburg and Russia have. A different coffee culture than, for example, in Finland where you have a liter, liter done and you just pour it. They just make it manually. of clothes Mir Adyrde. everything starting from 350 that's four euros must be good and here's chef kebab this video has well check it out old door not in use there's a lots of these in st petersburg so the entrance is probably from the inside of the courtyard but these doors are some level protected Local areas uh, news information like uh, you know administrative things.
doesn't have a good coffee in, in, in Russia. It's not bad, but it's not uh, special. It's okay, it's better than not so good ones. Above average. This is halal place. There's a lot of, uh, you see those uh, people from like Afghanistan or something with hats, turban, tur is it turban? There's a lot of these. Ah, that's why, because, hey, I didn't know I'm gonna come here. By the way, where do I have to go? I have to go to the right. Uh, here is uh, the halal restaurant was here because we have amazing, this is the main uh, temple of uh, this is the uh, Islamic temple called the, the, the mosque, the main mosque. I will have to show you from the front actually because it would be a sin not to show it to you. There's some green stuff. Um, <laughs> some trees growing. Check it out. This is amazing. This is St. Petersburg, guys. And I'm going actually over there. Watch this beauty, guys. St. Petersburg's main uh, Islamic mosque. Wow. Like a couple months ago, there was approximately, was it 300 or 1 million people here? They had this uh, feast. I've been today uh, and I love this place. I've been today at the um, church on spilled blood, which is amazing. Inside, and now I see this. So, today is a very interesting filming day for me.
All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, click the like button, share the video. This is Eagle in Russia. And uh, it's been an awesome day. From Gorkinskaya. Have a nice day and watch my other videos and stay tuned for more. Bye-bye.